And the title of that song is Yahweh. It's um, from the UK-based Living Faith Connections Mass Choir and directed by uh, Yuri Orogu, uh, that director based in the UK who directs many of the videos that come from artists uh, of African origin based in the UK. So you can get to YouTube and get to watch that. And please, we also have a channel on YouTube though. My Joe Online TV is a channel, so please get there and let us know what you think about our channel and some of the uploads that we put there. But let's um, start with the papers. We start with um, the Daily Graphic. It has on the front page, all right, um, um, probe EC, CSOs, as civil society organizations and political parties demand. And we also have, I use my money to pay legal fees and two illegal miners killed in pits. Bank of Ghana, though, fixes prime rate at 21%. We're hoping that uh, this is the rate at which the commercial banks borrow from the Bank of Ghana. We're, we're hoping that it will further decrease the, the, the rates for borrowing or the lending rate for, for the banks. All right. So... These are the protagonists in this whole drama. <laughs> killer and last killer. See them on the front page. Blow, the blue woman in the middle. Bl blue man at the side. Another blue woman at the side. <laughs> Ajay. And um, it says, um, Parliament is expected to meet the leadership of the Electoral Commission today. And the EC boss herself will be meeting the 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 committee responsible the members of parliament and um that's a committee of the whole but i'm sure it will not be open to the public um but as le as the leadership crisis in the electoral commission gets murkier some political parties civil society organizations and lawyers they've called for full-scale investigations into the development to restore the dented image of the commission the New Patriotic Party, uh, the rest, uh, the Progressive People's Party, as well as uh, uh, think tanks like Imani Ghana, believe that only a probe will bring back the credibility of the Electoral Commission. We've also had um, uh, legal professors, Kwekwasari, uh, H.K. Prempe, also sharing the same belief. All right, so those are the concerns that I've been raised. On the back page, water supply to improve in 50 rural communities. And it says, uh, broken down water systems in 50 communities are to be rehabilitated under a partnership between the Community Water and Sanitation Agency and the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. Engineers of the Regional Water and Environmental Sanitation Center of the KNUSD are expected to execute the 12 million Ghana City project to improve potable water supply to the beneficiary communities selected from all the 10 regions of the country. And we have the Chief Executive Officer of the Community Water and Sanitation Agency, uh, Walanyo Kwajo Siabi, announcing this in Kumasi at a risk assessment and management training program as a precursor to the project. The one-week training, apparently, will enable the participant to draw on their professional background to map out and identify possible risk about the project to ensure it does not hit a snag. So we're told that the other things like water infections and things um, of the sort. So um, those are up for critical review. So we'll see how that goes. But in the meantime, though, um, you can still grab a copy of the Daily Graphic and get insights into all that the efforts by the Community Water and Sanitation Agency and the original managers and, 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 and the financial people just to make sure, and the hydrological engineers to make sure the right things are done for our communities. We also have uh, the Daily Guide has on the front page, Amadou Sile fights CC boss over 6 million Ghana CD, NDC cash. There's a drama uh, that apparently, I had never seen the media report this in, in, in detail, uh, cost reporting, had done cost reporting for a number of years, and they try to transpose, I mean, in our minds, transiently, what really happened in terms of what the cross-examination was between uh, the states uh, represented by the Deputy Attorney General, Godfrey Dummy, and then also we have the lawyer, Ken Anku, for William A., et cetera, raising some concerns there in courts. But um, we also have William A. grilled over um, uh, 51.2 million Ghana cities. Uh, so 
Uh, that, that, that's a story in itself. Uh, police raid minister's house on a merry deal, and we have that great that interview. We'll play the, that back when we're having the discussions on AM Talk and What Killed My Dad, uh, Mills and Quizzes. So those are the stories we have on the front page of the Daily Guide newspaper. We have the paper, the custodian newspaper. It is edited by my good friend, Awudu Mahama. Good morning to you, Awudu. Uh, it has on the front page, chaotic EC surface internal bleeding, majority leader. Um, and then we have, uh, my appetite for NDC's leadership is high, Sylvester Mensah, used to be the chief executive for the National Health Insurance Authority. Uh, now it looks like he'll be contesting the primaries, the presidential primaries, or so the primaries will become the flag bearer of the NDC. Uh, that should take place in 2018, I believe. I mean, next year, and so we fear no special. We fear no special prosecutor, says NDC man, minority. And battle Wyoming goes wild in court, and that's the paper, the custodian newspaper. We have the Business and Financial Times. It has on the front page rubber farmers take over cocoa farms in Akim or Achim. And then uh, we're told that the story has, uh, says that about 2,000 farmers in the Upper West Akim District in the Eastern Region, they have lost their cocoa farms to rubber plantation companies as rubber investors offer more cash for stew lands. And the land belongs to the chiefs, and these chiefs have released these lands to the rubber farmers because they pay more for it. So the chiefs have asked the farmers to pull down their cocoa trees of the farms. The president of the West Akim uh, Farmer Cooperative and Marketing Union, Ohinebuafo, uh, is reported to be telling the Business and Financial Times. I hope that the Minister of Food and Agriculture can go in to survey the current situation because we know cocoa is a main cash crop and uh, it's, it's one of uh, leading exchanges, if not leading. So we'll see how that goes. Um, what we get from Coco is huge, leading. And uh, we have other stories on the front page of the Business and Financial Times. Cost of credits will fall eventually, Addison, as policy rate is reduced to 21%. Uh, Ghana Stock Exchange wants more tax breaks to get companies listed. And you have a picture there of Albert AC and used to be with the Ecobank uh, Transnational, but now is the chair of the Ghana Stock Exchange Governing Council. Uh, Brazil ambassador calls on business and financial times. Uh, we have um, other stories there on the back page though. We have uh, Tigo Cash educates mobile money agents on Bank of Ghana regulations. And Wilma Africa's Fright All endorsed by Medical Association. Right, 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 right. The next paper is The Finder. The Finder has on the front page, EC boss is a liar. Two deputies fight back. Sully threatens to sue. Mm. The internal wranglings of the Electoral Commission again up on the front pages of the newspapers. Not a sight to behold, not good for the year, etc. Uh, lending rates will come down, Bank of Ghana shows. And down there you have a picture there of uh, Dr. Enesco Addison, who is the Bank of Ghana governor. And it says 30.5 uh, billion Ghana cities used to pay maturing securities in just six months. Hmm. Uh, we have, I've not seen my father's autopsy report. Mills' son is said to be telling the media. And we know that yesterday, that's on Monday, was the day um, mark, marking the fifth uh, anniversary of the passing of the former president of the Republic of Ghana, Professor John Evans at a Mills. Uh, William ordered to produce documents on his house. And we know that as part of the cross-examination ongoing in court and vividly, Joseph Akable, uh, we hope that we'll get him uh, to tell us a lot more as to what transpired and what we should be expecting today. And so uh, the next paper is the Daily Dispatch newspaper. It says the battle for control of ADB, presidency and finance ministry clash over post of MD. Uh, I don't know, it's sad. Um, outgoing ADB boss. Uh, Daniel Asiedu used to be with, I believe, is Zenith or UBA, Zenith, I believe, and uh, had just taken over last March and already they've been winning some awards. So it, it, it shows that he's been doing well, but 
you know. Is that two weeks ago, President Kufadu appointed Dr. John Kofi Mensah as a new managing director of the Agricultural Development Bank. He is to take over from the incumbent Dr. No, Mr. But he's a reverend too. He's a reverend. Uh, reverend uh, Daniel uh, Esiedu. However, ongoing investigations by the Daily Dispatch have revealed that there are ongoing subtle attempts by some highly placed officials of the finance ministry to maintain Mr. Siedu at the ADB. A source of the ministry explained to the paper that since the ADB is a listed company, there are procedures that have to be done before the new managing director can, tain or can take office. For example, an annual general meeting will have to be held. And from our information, the appointment of Dr. Mensah has a blessing of the president, the vice president and the chief of staff. However, certain officials here are planning to quietly scuttle Dr. Mensah's appointment using some highly placed officials at the Bank of Ghana. Uh, and this, uh, bank, uh, this is interesting. All right. So we have other stories there. Uh, please, uh, we do the last paper, the, the Ghanaian Times. The Ghanaian Times has on the front page again, Mr. Woyome. Mr. Alfred Agbesi Woyome. Woyome, AG clash in court over ownership of house at Abilingpe, yeah, in Accra. Uh, police raid former power minister's house, seized laptop and pen drives. Okay, the best names, uh, I think the most technological terminology for pen drives is called flash disk. All right, but don't worry, pen drives also goes. Uh, EC Deputy Commissioner denies allegation, threatens court action. And uh, then we have um, pen drives being seized. Uh, and then we have other stories there. But on the back page, Atamio's remembered is on the back page. You have a picture there of uh, his brother, Kadman, Dr. Kadman Mills, laying a reef. Uh, to mark uh, the fifth anniversary of the passing of the former president, I remember. Uh, I was going somewhere else when I was pulled to come and do. I wore black, full black, black, black. Uh, forum on agri financing held in Accra. So those are the stories we have. All right, all right, all right, y'all. All right, so those are the stories we have. Now we have to go to the various online portals and then we'll look at some of the stories there. And uh, we'll go to MajorOnline.com first. You have um, a number of stories also displayed on the homepage of MajorOnline. And um, 3.4, NDC has no basis defending EC in new internal role. And that's MP. That's the MPP MP Daniel Abuaji wants the opposition NDC to stop jumping to the defense of the Electoral Commission chair in the internal wrangling are the elections management body. And from the response of the current chair, you can see that there are huge problems at the Electoral Commission as far as the management aspect is called. Mandala, hey. Mandala. Mandala last day's book pulled amid row. And forget about the spelling. Uh, they want to say Mandela. A uh, controversial new book about the last days of uh, former South African President Nelson Mandela has been redrawn by the publisher. <laughs> mm, 3.4 million inactive MTN lines deleted. And then we have Majestic Thomas Abbey lightens up Gokin race. And it was not Ghana Twitter or Ghana Facebook if you did not see Thomas Abbe typed somewhere on your phone or tablet while you scrolled your timeline on Sunday afternoon. Sports guys with some of their brothel plenty. We are making progress with Woyoma Cash Retrieval, Deputy Attorney General Godfrey Dami in court. Very fine young man, fine lawyer, very handsome too. I want to see my father's autopsy report. Late Mills son, the son of the late Professor John Evans Etan Mills, one time president, late president, says he is yet to be told the cause of his father's death since his passing in 2012. Next, Donko makes Ameri compromises in Katie Hammond's house. <laughs> it has emerged that hours before the raid in his house, the former power minister had met with the MPPs, Katie Hammond, to make compromises over the controversial Ameri deal. <laughs> uh, yo. 
No comments. EC commissioners must all step aside for investigation of rot. That's a PPP. Let's scroll up, scroll up, scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. EC ROG, Georgina Mankwa, rebuts claims over 40 million Ghana CD and authorized contracts. Boba, scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. My father's story is the late uh, President Mills' brother uh, dismisses claims family hasn't seen autopsy reports. Scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. <laughs> uh, my father's story is there, so you can find that. Now let's go to City FM Online. So you go to City FM Online and it's still electoral commission. Charlie, today we'll discuss it though. EC controversy bad for Ghana's democracy. Former EC director, uh, go down. Uh, we have votes were transferred illegally in 2016. MPP director confirms. Scroll down. We have EC boss allegations, figment of her imagination. Uh, former, no, not former. Uh, deputy chair, scroll down. <laughs> Again, EC. Amadou Sile illegally transfer votes, Charlotte Ose. Scroll down. <laughs> scroll down, scroll down. Okay, but this one is no electoral commission. It's the soldiers allegedly assaulted personnel as NCC registration turned chaotic in one of the centers. So you can see pictures there, Charlie. Why can't we just sit at home in this day on technology? Sit at home, do your registration, you go. You go and queue up. Oh, Africa, mom, are a problem, pao. You can't just sit at home, do your registration, that's all. They want you to come to the place, come with documents, you go and queue, you get tired, your spine, even if you are sick. Oh, Africa, it's a problem. Pa, 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 pa. Ah, Africa, Ghana. Oh, bacho, 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 bacho. All right. So we have uh, Ghana not supporting Atamil's fifth, government not supporting Atamil's uh, fifth anniversary. That's Kukwa Nidoho. Um, I wish you know, I tell you, I was a former president of Ghana. So let's go to the next. Uh, let's sit at home and do register. Mandela's last day's book pulled a mid round. And then we have Nigeria leader due home within 14 days. Yo, <laughs> Nigeria, we've seen it before. Ghana said we see him before. Africa highlight Tanzania demands 190 billion US dollars from mining firm HIV under control in Swaziland and we have South Africa child virtually cured of HIV uh, we're told not really cured it's just that the the viral load negligible because uh, he was given the initial doses after birth that's the child and after he hasn't there's, there's not been any remission, so like he, he's, she's safe. Yeah. But my name said, Unyini Nasa won any year, yeah, Ubinya HIV Nibia. Obet Miyama we HIV. Okay, so we have Bailey gets three match European ban. It means that for the Champions League group faces for Manchester United, he's not going to feature. It doesn't matter. Manchester United now they are in good grounds. Just like my team Chelsea, we now have the great Morata who is uh, one of the up-and-coming young strikers around the world from Real Madrid. We're going to retain the league, I tell you, EPL, Chelsea. Any, any, any problem? Um, and uh, we're told that in South Africa, Rhino poaching has fallen. That's the numbers have fallen in South Africa. So those are the, those are the things that we have. Okay? So... Um, if you just want to get communicative, please on Facebook, join us on TV and let us know what you think. But in the meantime, we have to take a break. Benedict Oso will be here with sports. Please do stay on.